Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Distant Worlds Universe, episode 11. And uh, before I start this episode off real quick, I just want to go over some notes I uh, collected here. So uh, somebody mentioned in the comments in uh, episode 5, actually his name was Hector M. Molto. I, I hope I said that uh, correctly. So Hector, he uh, brought up to my attention a couple of things, and I just wanted to go over them real quick. Uh, the first thing being that mining station owned by uh, mining stations are owned by the private sector, and so the maintenance cost uh, doesn't affect us particularly. It just affects the uh, private sector. So when I was taking weapons off earlier a couple episodes ago, and I was saying that I was trying to save myself some money. Uh, I completely forgot that it's not going to save us any money by taking the weapons off of the mining stations because those mining stations are paid ultimately by the private sector. So I'm not going to mess with the mining stations right now though. I just wanted to bring that up that I am aware of that now. Uh, I was aware of that before. I just forgot for some reason, <laughs> but I am aware of that now. Uh, but we're still going to leave our mining stations uh, just the way they are for now. Uh, and one more thing he brought up and something that is actually extremely important is that our research right now is uh, research stations. We have too many of them. Our research is kind of bloated. And I'll, I'll go over that right now and explain to you uh, what he means by that. And I wasn't even paying attention for the last like 10 episodes. I, I hardly come into this research screen and I really should do it more often because I could save myself a lot of money in maintenance costs. Uh, and here's what I mean by a bloated research. So these numbers here on our research station, these signify how much capacity uh, our, our empire has for researching. So let me let me give an example. Let's pretend that this total empire research potential, this is how many scientists we have inside of our uh, civilization right now, inside of our empire. So we've got 229,000 scientists. And this number is how many scientists each one of these types of labs can hold. So the weapons lab can hold 360,000, uh, energy lab 360,000, high tech 270,000, so on and so on. So this creates a total research capacity for how many scientists our different labs can hold across our empire, which is our main spaceport we have here, plus the little research stations we've built. And this actual output is where those scientists are in the field right now. So we've got 163,000 scientists uh, in different weapons research labs uh, across our empire, 99,000 in energy and 101,000 in high tech. So unless this number grows, this number will not grow. Therefore, having this extra space, which as you can see, we're almost 300,000 above this one. Almost, we're almost 300,000 above all of these. And so having all of that extra space is really just worthless. Well, it's about 300,000 there, 200,000, yeah, a little less there. So yeah, it's really worthless and it's just draining maintenance costs for no reason. Now this one says including bonuses as well. So we get different bonuses uh, to our research. This one gives us a plus 15% on our total empire research potential, uh, which gives us a little bit more bonus uh, for our actual output. And then we get different bonuses for the planets we have. And so one thing I do want to bring up about these bonuses from these research stations is that you can only collect one bonus her type of research. And what I mean by that is, for instance, in our Erd Baneer system here, we'll call that Erd Baneer, we've got a research station all the way down here on this planet for a plus 30% uh, bonus to weapons research. Now, say, for example, uh, we went to this planet and it had a plus 10% bonus to weapon research. And I wanted to put a research station on there because I thought, well, I, d I didn't think, I, I knew this, but Say, for example, I thought that it would give me plus 40% bonus to weapons research. Well, it actually will not do that. You can only collect a bonus uh, for research per different research type. So if there was a plus 10% bonus to weapons research here and I put a research station here and tried to collect that plus 10% bonus, this plus 30% bonus will actually trump my plus 10% bonus and I'll only collect from this. 30% bonus here. I will not have a 40% bonus total. The, the game will basically just look at all of the um, uh, all of the planets I have research stations on with bonuses, and it'll just take the highest out of all of those. So I could go and collect all the weapons bonus researches I want on any planet I want to, but ultimately I'm only going to get a bonus from the highest, uh, the planet with the highest bonus research to it. Now I hope that may kind of makes sense. I hope I didn't overcomplicate anything um, but that's basically how that works and so we're collecting a plus 30% bonus to weapons research here which just 
to let you know is extremely good. And we were actually coming down here and getting it. Uh, we got a plus 8% bonus to weapons research, or I'm sorry, uh, high tech research down here. And I think those are the only two research stations I have. So it should be, let's see, devouring wheels. If we actually go back in here, research stations, yes. So we're getting a high tech bonus from this station here and a 30% weapons bonus here. So 30% here, 8% here. And that's why these numbers kind of look like this. And now we should try to find uh, a planet that has an energy bonus somewhere. And then once I do that, I'll pretty much be maxed out on bonuses I can collect unless I find higher percentage bonuses. And so that's basically a, a general summary of how... Uh, research works and so for our, uh, our uh, Dakar Prime spaceport here we definitely need to do one thing to save us some money and that is cut back on the bloated research budget budget that we have there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my state bases and my medium spaceport here and I'll just do an auto upgrade real quick there's probably some stuff that needs to be upgraded and then we'll still go back to a, a mark 2 and we're gonna do a revision B because basically all we're going to do is just pull some labs off of this. So energy lab, let's see, let's pull off one, two, three, I think, right, 270 maybe? Is that what I want to sit around? I'm not sure if that's actually where I want to be. How, what's that looking like maintenance cost? What was that with, let me see. I actually want to see the difference. So one, two, three, so that's a pretty big difference. Yeah, once we, once we tear a lot of these off, we're almost going to be saving ourselves uh, a very considerable amount. I think we'll stick around 240k, maybe. Look at that already. It looks like we're going to dip below 2,000, so it's going to save us a lot of money. This is actually extremely important. Uh, I'm, I'm really upset that I missed it earlier. I'm glad that you brought that up, Hector, because that's a, that's a pretty big deal. That's going to save us a lot of money. All right, so energy, high tech. So that puts us at 240, 240, 270. For weapons, energy, high tech at 270. Uh, let's pull one off the high tech. Let's just go 240 all around. That gives us 2100. So we're saving a pretty good amount. Now, one thing I want to do with this is our firepower is at 60 for our medium spaceport. And that's honestly terrible. So with the extra money we're saved, saving right now, I'm going to throw just a couple more weapons on there. I'm going to put some uh, Maxos blasters on there. Let's put some rail guns. How about four rail guns? So the main's going to go back up. So we're not going to save ourselves too much money, but we're going to invest that in firepower, which is always a good investment, especially when you're playing an aggressive race. And I'll put some point defense on there because those are good for defending against fighters. Uh, two should be more than enough for now. And I kind of want to put some uh, Epsilon torpedoes on there, but they're usually pretty expensive to maintain. Uh, maybe not too much here. How about two of them for now? There. So that gives us a firepower of 120, which is a lot better. And I do have fighters on this, don't I? I do. Fighter capacity of 18, so that's not bad. And uh, I really should increase the shields and the armor. Honestly. Would be something important to do. Static energy to 12. Energy collection still good to go. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's definitely throw some more shields on there. Let's go with two more shields... And I'm thinking five more armor. And that makes me feel a little bit better. So uh, we'll actually go through right now and uh, retrofit our station so we can get the bonuses we just got there. So click on that. We'll do a retrofit right here to revision B, Mark II. There we go. And let's unpause the game and let that all uh, go into effect. So that puts us in a little bit better of a situation. Now, how are we looking military-wise? Because I haven't actually taken a look. So our first fleet here, six ships, and that's pretty much it. I think I queued up more ships to be built. I thought I did, but I'm not entirely sure if I actually did do that. Um, I think I had more explorers built, actually. Let's just take a look at our exploration ships. I did. I had one more built. Okay. Where are our exploration ships right now? So we've got one there, all right, and it's refueling, so we'll just let that do that. This one has no mission, so let's send him out to do something. Uh, really, what we need to do is we need to upgrade the fuel systems on these. All right, let's send you back to the home planet. And then um, what we can do with that is we can go into our ship design screen real quick, and let's actually upgrade. Oops. Let's actually upgrade our exploration ship a little bit. So we'll do an auto upgrade. Oh, and that actually made him not buildable. Why? 
Probably because he's too big now. Manual upgrade. Yes, made him uh, too large. So let's pull some stuff off here. Uh, we'll take off in, uh, two engines. I think that'll be okay. And I'd like to increase the fuel if possible. Uh, 235 out of 230. I could probably pull one more engine off and I'll be okay. I think that'll do it. And that should give him a little bit longer range. Yeah, that should be okay. Uh, let's change this. Alright. And revision B. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll wait actually for our... Change this back to latest buildable designs. We'll wait for our uh, exploration ship out here to come in and then we'll take them and get them all retrofitted at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, our allies down well I guess not unfortunately but it's kind of ruined the exploration part for us but these guys here are pretty much exploring everything for us it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just exploration is kind of the fun part plus we're missing out and finding ruins and stuff where we could get good things but that's all right that's how it goes sometimes I'd rather have the ally than anything so I do want to get down here and see what's going on in that system all right and the retrofitting is complete so probably didn't save us all too much money uh, because we threw those weapons on there, but at least we're a little bit better when it comes to defense. Ooh, okay, let's see. What's he got here for us? So, free trade agreement and territory map swap offered. Well, yeah, this is the other guy we're trying to ally here. So, yes, we will do a territory map and a free trade agreement. We'll start uh, a free trade agreement with these guys just to kick off really good uh, relations with them. And that gives us two extremely powerful allies right next to us. And hopefully it'll stay that way. And that's what I'm hoping anyways. Uh, we got to find the planets that have our people on them. Ooh, what's this? Incense. Incense and what? Ivory? Really? This is a, f this is a packed system. Look at this system. Uh, we do have a source of fuel in here. What else? anything and then where is okay so that's a pretty good planet that's pretty good as well silicone and incense definitely good where's the planet with the ivory on it does it have anything else on it that's a good planet and there's the ivory not too great but the ivory is definitely not bad completed uh, research and improved logistics that'll save us more money on maintenance costs and I believe that's what it is, right? Improve logistics. Oh, lowers maintenance cost of troops. So we should actually queue up some troops, uh, some recruiting, and get that going. I'll show you how that goes in a second. Let me see what we want to do next. Really need to do shipboarding, but I just don't really care for shipboarding. I don't ever really put... I could make special ships just for boarding enemy ships. I guess that's something I could consider. But I don't normally care for shipboarding. I guess they're not... It's not bad, though. I could start... In Improving my fighters. Uh, let's actually do enhanced torpedoes. And then maybe go for ion weapons. Yeah, and then let's go for ion weapons. And how are we doing with the other research? So, we're doing that. Energy collectors. We're going for the hyperdrive technology now. Uh, which is still going to take us a good amount of time. But after that, I should go for this resupply ship. Yeah, so that's what I'll do after that. And then the high tech, we're working on enhanced commerce. And then I want a straight, I would, I'm going to do a straight run for the open trade network because I really want to get that one. Oh, wait, no. Wonder I already built. No. Oh, man, that sucks so much. Somebody already built that? Wow, we, we fell way behind then. All right, well, we'll still work on this. It gives us a trade bonus of plus 7%. This gives us a trade bonus of plus 8%, but it's really not worth going for now that the Wonder was already built. Okay. So let's switch our direction then. So we'll still get the enhanced commerce. Um, I could go for long range scanners and start setting up. This is our, oh, I could actually go for our unique uh, research, hunger seeker, which I'm pretty sure is just a really, really good, uh, like a really good sensor. Kind of like a long range scanner, but ours is way better. And that'll allow us to see what's going on around us. It's a possibility, but I don't know if I'm ready yet to set up scanners around my empire. 
Uh, let's start dipping into colonization, maybe. Ah, no, 960k. You know, yeah, let's go for the hunter seeker al algorithms and then we'll go for colonization. Start getting our foot in the door for setting up a second planet somewhere. I think that'll be good. All right. And things are moving slow as usual. I do got it on four speed though, so. But this is a pretty slow, uh, slow moving game for the most part. That's how it is. That's why a lot of people actually like it though. Uh, Cause you can just kind of let things move and kind of, you just intervene here and there when you need to. We've got our research station. I do have scientists. Where are my scientists? So I've got one waiting at the car prime right now. I should put him somewhere. He's at the spaceport. He's at the Erdbenir research station. Weapons research plus 34%. So he's given a huge bonus there. Bonus. And then he's a we another weapons research bonus. So I guess I could just put him right here on the, on this spaceport. I could send him to the other. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Well, no, that's too dangerous. I don't want to lose him. He's actually a really good scientist. So never mind. I changed my mind on that. Just stay there. And I'll transfer you. I don't think two scientists give a bonus in the same place, to be honest with you. Hmm. I guess one more thing I need to look into. Well, I'll just send him there for now. Uh, it's just going to be my best bet. And what are we doing over here? Building a mining station. That's right. It should be right here at this system. Going for these resources and... Uh, that's right. I want to take this out. Was there something over here I wanted? Maybe this. Maybe silicone. What do we got here? Any fuel sources nearby over here? Doesn't really look like it. Construction ship completed its mission. I believe I sent him to just... To just get here. I don't think I had any particular mission for him. See if there's any resources nearby we want to nab up. I think there definitely was in... Which system? Was it this one all the way over here? No, I guess it was one... Oh yeah, way over here. Uh, just a little too far yet. That's not a bad system. I need fuel though. Where can I find fuel source? We got a fuel source here. I'd like to get maybe the fuel source that's in here. If it's good enough. I believe it was. Yes, it was. And a 27% bonus to weapon research. But that doesn't do us any good. Energy. I believe we don't have energy. We only have the 8% bonus to high tech. Which is in here, right? Yeah, 8% bonus to high-tech research and then the 30% bonus to weapons research. So we could actually nab a really good bonus to high-tech research in here. And that's something that we should definitely do. So I think we'll queue up... Let's queue up the gas mining station first here. And then we'll queue up the uh, energy research station here. Is there other resources in this system that I could use? Maybe not. Pirates are offering protection. I don't want your protection. That's not bad. Probably nab a mining station on that planet. Oh, more pirates offering protection. I do not want your protection, pirates. I do not care. Although you probably are pretty powerful. Only 108, though, so that's not that bad. Um, Let's look at the pirates real quick. Ooh, oh my... What the hell? Holy shit, 9,670 firepower. He's only got 102. How do you have so much firepower? Where are you? I don't know. That's scary. That's a lot of firepower. I'm almost thinking that these guys might have a... They might have a planet destroyer already. They have to. With that much firepower that early? They have to. Where are they? Do I know where they are? I hope they're not near me. There is a world destroyer project in this area, but I don't think it's them that runs it. It's not. I actually don't know the... I guess I haven't come into contact yet with the race that's over there. Or the pirates that are over there. Ah, uh, there's the ones that are here. Right? No, I don't know them either. So, Venomous Army. I don't know where they are. Hopefully, they're not near us. <clears throat> Ooh, a gift. Thanks. But I don't know if I really want to be friends with you. Do you like me at all? You want to do a territory map swap? Where are you? They do naturally like me. They f we form beneficial treaties with our f their friends. They don't like our style of government, though, and the, we still have the strange alien ways negative modifier. Where are you in the galaxy? All the way down here. Uh, 
I guess it doesn't hurt to do a territory map swap with them being so far away. I don't think it's really going to affect either of us. Um, if anything, it just lets me know where more people are. I think that'll be okay. Alright, so we got our construction ship moving up there. How are we looking research-wise? It's going to take a while. Hopefully get these bumped up soon. I do need to continue to increase population. I think that's what I did right now as I lowered my taxes. What did we just get? I was not paying attention. Enhanced commerce, okay. That'll improve uh, our income for trade. And free trade agreement offered. Uh, you're too far away for it to really affect me. So I'm just going to say no. You're way too far away. I doubt any of your ships, or at least I know any of none of my ships will be able to reach you. So I'm not going to get anything out of that free trade agreement. Uh, so there's just no point. Okay. Hmm, let's see. S mutual defense pact offered. Alright, already, huh? Do I have a mutual defense pact with the other... Uh, with the other race that I was trying to f ally here? Naturally like me. Form better beneficial treaties with their friends. Military refueling, good reputation. These guys love us. And we do have a mutual defense pact. And who else are they allied with? Do they like our friends? They are. They're delighted with our friends. So it looks like we're going to create a little trio of evil here. I will accept your offer. And I will also... Yeah, then, and I will do the mutual defense pack as well. So that means us three right here are all kind of grouped together. And we're all pretty friendly with each other. So we've got a pretty good uh, setup there. Pirates secretly funded to attack Empire. Our intelligence network has uncovered a covert arrangement of... The Ancient Guardians. The Ancient Guardians have made a secret deal with the Pirate Faction, the Venomous Army, to attack the ships and bases of the Lost Ravagers. Oh no. <laughs> the Venomous Army was the one that we were looking at that has uh, 9,000 firepower. And who are they attacking? The the uh, uh, the Lost Ravagers. Who are those guys? The Lost Ravagers. It doesn't look like it's anybody I know. It sounds like another... Another uh, pirate faction, maybe. Well, I'm just going to keep this information to myself then. It doesn't seem like anything I really need to deal with. It's nobody I know. It's not one of my friends, so I'm just not going to worry about it. But that really sucks. I feel bad for anybody that has to deal with that pirate faction. I don't think anybody in the game is close enough to deal with 9,000 firepower. I don't care who you are. That is a bad setup. What are we losing money on right now? Ship and base maintenance. Okay, at least we're not leaking money anywhere else. So I just need to keep working on my cash flow. Uh, I believe, what's our population sitting at right now? Get in here. Uh, we should be sitting at... Alright, plus 5% growth, 4.7 billion. Alright, we'll just let that keep going. Pirates offer empire contact, uh, not worth it. I'm not in a rush to meet other empires, let alone spend the money for it. Yeah, so that's pretty much where we sit right now. I'm going to cut this episode off here. So things are still moving somewhat slow, but we are doing a little bit of expanding. I would like to get my foot in the door for uh, colonization. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for a planet that will be worth colonizing. Uh, as well as I think next episode I'm going to build up the military a little bit more. Uh, I'd like to start working on an assault fleet we can use to capture a planet when we come across it. Oh, and before I forget, one thing I want to do is go into my home planet here. And I actually want to, uh, I want to recruit some infantry. Let's just go with, oh, I already have one in here, huh? I didn't think I had any. All right, let's garrison them here, and then let's actually recruit, let's just do one more and garrison them. Okay, and that'll, that'll be good for now. Yep, so that's where I'm going to cut it off. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.